ladies and gentlemen, the Zinch. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite factions in this game just because of the beautiful colors that they bring are on the battlefield today. The beautiful pinks and blues that the horrors of Zinch throw combined with some epic looking units at that. Oh baby, the champions. The absolute gangsters that are these aspiring champions and they're the regiment of renown aspiring champions absolutely beautiful but today they are going against a formidable foe we have bretonia waiting to receive them if you guys do enjoy this one and would like to see more like it in the future of course let me know in the comment section down below hit that like and sub button and if you guys don't know bretonia or don't know much about warhammer Bretonia is one of the quote-unquote good factions in the game. They focus heavily on cavalry power to win a lot of their fights. As you can tell by the flanks here being loaded with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units of cavalry. And then the center being mainly infantry, but not very good infantry. You'll notice that the center is loaded with long swords and stuff like that. And you will see in a second just how bad they are when they go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some aspiring champions. But they tend to run away from those aspiring champions, and we are seeing that already. But over on the right, the right middle flank, we see that he has some pilgrim. I believe that this is what do you got here? Battle pilgrims. Yes, going against some uh, forsaken of Zinch. Sorry about that. I completely just blanked on that unit's name. I've talked about him millions of times, and I just blanked. But let's go to the far flanks here. So we do have lots of calves sitting on the flanks. We have some knights errant, some mounted yeomen, and mounted yeoman archers. And then we do see that we have some infantry crashing down. We have some men at arms crashing down on the flanks. Uh, Zinch are doing a good job at putting some of their units on the flanks here. Um, they are committing a lot to the center though. But one thing that you do realize early on in this fight is that the Zinch went for a lot more... How do I put this? bang for their buck you will see a lot less units for them on the field but the quality of these units are much much higher hence aspiring champions and not only that but the regiment of renown aspiring champions so seeing these guys on the battlefield today is a very very welcome sight we don't get to see them very often but when we do we see them racking up a lot of kills and an excellent charge from the chariot there and then in the back lines we already see that the that the Zinch have broken through the center and broken through easily. Going after some battle pilgrims there, we see the Forsaken of Zinch, some more aspiring champions, and the Demon Prince of Zinch in the back lines. I mean, look at this guy. Oh, sick. That is sick. So he's walking around the back lines there, again, just trying to mess up the flow of things. He's taking a lot of archer fire, so he definitely needs to get going to these back lines. Like we see the Forsaken of Zinch doing right now, going after some of these blessed field trebuchets. And there's going to be nothing to stop this unit back here from ripping apart these back lines. But the cavalry is coming in. This is looking like um, Lord of the Rings right now. The cavalry coming down to... Uh, assist the infantry to help win this fight in the back we see a lot of the pink and blue horrors of zinch are currently being harassed by horsemen we see that pegasus knights landed down on them the pegasus knights did not do as much damage damage as i'm sure they would have liked to especially with the soul grinder of zinch back there but they still do a decent amount of damage and right now the battlefield is very split uh spread out right now we're not seeing a massive concentration of fighting. We're seeing that the right flank is just being held right now for the Zinch. They're not trying to push. They're not trying to do a whole lot of stuff except hold. Um, and that is mainly due to the fact that a lot of their units are on the left side. And they crushed the left side of Bretonia. Absolutely rolled the left side of Bretonia early on in this fight. And that is what we need to see more of. Um, if you're rooting for the Zinch... We need to see them taking low casualties and continuously rolling the enemy. And look here, they are, they've only taken about 500 casualties to where Bretonia is nearing 1,000 at this point. And again, that is what you would like to see. A 2 to 1 kill ratio for um, the Zinch. But a lot of these units, like the blue and pink horse here, they need to get throwing uh, a lot of their... How would you put this? A lot of their air capabilities because right now they're using none of it. And that's kind of their archer presence right now. 
because a lot of these units that are returning are still decently health like full health um so they're just not really pressing their advantage to the best of their abilities at the moment and uh, oh my goodness completely surrounded the fey enchantress completely surrounded right now is she trying to get out what's she doing yeah she's wavering she's at 1200 oh my god she might go down no she's fine the uh, Marauders broke off the fight. Same with the Forsaken Azinch. But uh, yeah, so the left flank absolutely obliterated at the start of this battle. But the right flank is just being held right now. At the moment, this is anyone's fight. I mean, this could go both ways very, very easily. Um, just, again, doing a great job at just smashing that left flank here. Now, these chariots will be very, very crucial to do exactly what they're doing right now, which is clean up any of these returning men. Um, the, Char the Chaos Chariots, yeah, 75 kills. Just continue to clean up a lot of these retreating units here. Um, because you do not want a large force of these guys to return and just smash into your back lines. Like we're about to see with the Fae Enchantress right here, going after some pink horrors of Zinch, I think. We'll see that in just a second. Yep, going straight into the backs of those pink horrors of Zinch. <coughs> oh man, sorry throat's a little dry um but anyways you can see that the uh, blues and pinks are starting to fly in targeting down this damsel it is a wizard so that is a great unit to target down the wizard the longer that that wizard stays alive the more kills and support it will be able to do this one looks like it has a lot more support capabilities here more than attacking capabilities but for the most part here, this battle is very centralized around here. You can see Bretonia is doing a great job at sending a lot of those units that return straight back into the fight here. And it is quickly swinging the tide of this fight. Oh my aspiring champions. <laughs> oh, these poor, poor halberdiers, man. They're just getting massacred. How many kills are they at? 88 and 61. So those combining for about 140 kills almost 150 kills and they're just eating these halberdiers alive oh my goodness these poor poor halberdiers man <laughs> poor poor halberdiers but now you're starting to see that a lot of the cav is starting to come into play later into this fight um the zinch the zinch is really not being able to keep up with the maneuverability of the enemy here the exalted flamer zinch going after the fey enchantress um, actually trying to run away by the looks of it, which is smart because I think the Fae Enchantress should win this fight relatively easily. But yeah, it's just, they have, the Zinch is not able to keep up with the mobility of Bretonia at the moment, and it is really starting to pay dividends for them, as you see that a lot of the, uh, Zinch are now starting to get overwhelmed. And again, it's just... Not enough units, um, not enough mobility here, and you are seeing just pink and blue hordes of Zinch going flying as more and more cavalry just continue to charge in everywhere here. Is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? Aspiring champions can't do anything, cannot do everything. Um, they can do a lot. They can do a lot here, but they can't do everything. They need support. And right now the support is not coming. The Herald of Zinch up here in the sky with 64 kills. Uh, continuing to fire down on the enemy. But taking a heavy, heavy archer fire from some, out, from some peasant bowmen over there. Uh, down to 2100 health. And I just don't see a way that the Zinch can pull it back at this point. But we've seen crazier. We have seen crazier. Um, we do have that the Chaos Sorcerer Lord is still at pretty much full health. If he gets a kill on the Fae Enchantress, or that's not the Fae Enchantress, that's uh, King Lowen. So, if he uh, if he ends up getting that kill, that would be big. King Lowen? King Lowen? King Lowen. Sure. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, for the most part here, Bretonia has this one in the bag. They really just need to kill these generals, and this battle is all but complete. But... If somehow this Chaos Sorcerer Lord, I mean, he has 116 kills and he's taken almost no damage. That is insanity. That is absolute insanity. Are these friendly? Oh, and he has 12 Chaos spawn outside that are unbreakable. Wow. Well, now only 11. <laughs> and now only 10. But still, that is crazy that at this point in the battle that those guys are still alive. Um, up in the air, the Herald of Zinch is starting to waver. 
and that pretty much is going to spell the end of the Zinch forces in this one, ladies and gentlemen. They put up a valiant fight, but in the end, it is just not enough to get the victory. So, Britonia gets the win in this one. If you guys did enjoy this one and would like to see more liking in the future, of course, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that like and sub button, and of course, I will see you all next time. Peace!